Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, March 31st, the last day of the month that wouldn't end. And uh, we are looking at the Modern League dump for today. There are 76 decks in today's dump. And uh, so we should probably get to it, huh? Our first deck is from Old Bag of Bones, and it is Smallpox. We've been seeing this popping up occasionally recently. So uh, here's the latest entry for it. I don't think this user has been playing it recently. I don't remember that handle. Salomon with Ad Nauseam. Relatively straightforward build of Ad Nauseam. Three Veil of Summer inside. Gavin Wynn with... It's a Death Shadow deck. We are Jund Shadow, the Traverse the Uvenwald build. The uh, seems to be the best version of the deck right now, at least the way the meta currently sits. Sondrak with Mono Red Prison. Wow, this is all out. 16 Land Hate cards, Trinis 4 Trinisphere Main, 3 Ensnaring Bridge. This person is out for it. And yeah. Got the 5-0 as a result, but man, I would hate to face this deck. That just looks miserable. Tyrannical with Bogles. And anything? We've got an Unflinching Courage. I don't see anything too unusual. One Dryad Arbor. Yep, nothing too unusual in here. Two Gaddock Teague in the side. That's pretty, pretty standard. Yep, good old Bogles. Dream Puffs with... Bant Control, Blue Green, mm, what do we got here? Oh, this is the Nexus of, okay, Reclamation Nexus deck. Yeah, that's a thing. Hocus Pocus with Blue White Control, Blue White Stone Blade, because we do have our Stoneforge Mystic Package here. So yeah, this hasn't shown. This has kind of fallen off a of favor. It's one of the less popular uh, Stoneblade decks. Most people have been going Bant. Uh, but yeah, here's Blue White still around. Bilski with uh, Wurza, Demir Wurza. Nope, we're not Demir. We are Esper. Why are we have White in the main? For nothing in the main but definitely in the side so it's Demir Wurza but it's Esper for sideboard hate and white is very good at that so uh, yeah if you want a uh, Thopter Sword combo deck here you go Star Fanta with Boros Burn pretty straightforward build here yep good old burn always around Trellon with Mono Blue Tron. Sundering Titan, Treasure and Trinket Mage, Mere Battle Sphere. I love that card in EDH. It must be fun and modern. A Mind Slaver, of course. Yep. Mono Blue Tron. APS with uh, Titan Shift. No, not Titan. So this is just Scape Shift. This is Teamer Rug. Shift, Rugscape Shift. With no Primeval Titans going Uros instead, Renin 6, Valakut. A uh, little more control y side of your Titan deck, or your, sorry, your uh, Scape Shift decks. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but Steph numbers out with uh, Mono White Stone Blade. We've got our uh, sort of, I guess this is Death and Taxes. Death and Blades. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, blades and Taxes. Uh, Eldrazi Displacer and Stoneforge Mystic does sound like a pretty good combo, to be honest. Yeah. Prohibition with Grixis Shadow. Always around. One of the staples. Shadow decks are a staple of the format. Soimba Airwave, 
with red green Eldrazi we've got the obligators and the reality smashers and the thought not seers and Grove of the Burn, Burn Willows and Clothis. Clothis is popping up more and more. That's a card. That is a really good card. If you have not played with Clothis yet, give it a try. You will enjoy that card. That guy from FNM. Well, he's on Magic Online now, and he is playing Bant Snow Control. And yep, that would be that guy from FNM playing Bant Snow Control that you hear the stories about. That's him. Selfisek with Mardu Shadow. Boy, we're hitting all the Shadow decks early in this list. That's kind of unusual. So we've seen Mardu, Grixis, and uh, Jund. All we need now is four color Shadow. Southern Sliver with Slivers. Thank you for playing the deck that matches your name. Uh, Cloud Shredder. Yep. Any of the other... I will admit to not fully knowing my names of my slimmer slivers. So I'm curious which of the Modern Horizon slivers he might be playing here. He's playing Unsettled Mariner, which is an honorary sliver. Uh, so yeah, just Cloud Shredder and Unsettled Mariner, it looks like, out of uh, Modern Horizons. But yeah, always fun to see this deck pop up. Lord Penguin Boots. That's a great handle. I like that. With, uh... Is this Naya Stoneblade? This looks like Naya Stoneblade. Here's your here's an aggro deck for you. A little big aggro deck. Uh, two Questing Beasts. Looks like the top of the curve. Uh, it's got Goifs. We've got Nakatles. We've got Tireless Trackers. Yeah, nice stone blade. I might, I might give that a shot. I like that. Caruso with what do we got here? We've got Kiki. We've got Court of Calling. This is a Kiki Gord deck with four Garn Karn the Great Creator. I have, don't think I've seen that tweak on Kiki Cord. So that's interesting. Um, but you've got your Resto Kiki Infinite Combo. Um, that's really the combo here. Otherwise, it's just trying to do uh, beatdown stuff. And it looks like we are Naya. Should be Naya. Yeah. Spartan Engineer with something on the Ponza scale. This is pretty much Ponza. Four Blood Moon, three Molten Rain, four Pillage. Yeah, this is this is somewhat your traditional Ponza deck. Not overboard like we saw before with the 16 land destruction cards, but this is Ponza, where it's got a decent threat package and it's keeping you off your mana. The only thing it's missing here is Mwanvali Acid Moss, but I don't think Ponza's played that since Pillage became uh, modern legal. Abyss Bocci, or Abyss Bocci, eh, Hardened Scales. Uh, Ravager decks are a thing. Good to see that this deck can survive at some level without Mox Opal. Um, I'm frankly happy to see Mox Opal out of the format. A free mana is just a problem. Bob, Bob Oct Octiberius. Bob Octiberius. Okay, Bobo. Bobo. I don't know. I love trying to pronounce these handles. We are here with a Proclamation of Rebirth deck. So, Martyr. Uh, yep, Martyr Proc. Have not seen this in a while. Uh, was kind of wondering if uh, the power level of modern had pushed decks like this out of the format, but it's good to see that it can still hang around. So yeah, good old martyr proc. There's a there's a guy at my LGS that is slowly foiling this deck out. The rake with four color snow stuff. What do we got? It looks like this is just four color snow control. Eight creatures. Two of them are, are significant threats in Uro. But yeah, four color snow control. Astrolabe is a powerful card. 
Tuso Weismach, I guess, with Merfolk. And this is of the mono blue variety. Oh, no, it's... Are we... I'm still running the waterlogged groves just for the card draw. But yeah, mono blue, four spreading seas. That had been dropping to two lately, so interesting to see that come back. A Castle Vantress. Um, nice little mana base there. Yep, Merfolk. Hugo Freitas one with Storm. And Storm is Storm. I don't... This just has Grape Shot main uh, with the Empty the Warns in the side. Yep, Grape Shot, or Storm. Asin Bond 28 with Black White Stone Blade. Four Dark Confidant, even Mind Sensor. This is a black white uh, taxes deck. It's not Eldrazi in taxes. There's no Eldrazi in the deck. But, uh, yep, black white stone blade. Mingxi with a Naya. Are we Naya? Are we? Yep. Yeah, we are Naya. Another Naya Zoo deck. Um, this one is Zoo, not stone blade. So we've got the Atarkas Commands, only two Goifs, so this is a smaller deck. Hex Drinker, Galia, Bushwhacker, so yeah, Naya Bushwhacker too. Uh, fun and aggressive. Your matches will be over quickly. Rinko with Gorio's uh, Grishol brand. I have not seen this deck in a while. Uh, no, sh no Nourishing Souls in this one though. So this is... Okay, so I tried to do a variant on this with Generator Servant, Ilharg, and Pioneer. Only I was trying to Ilharg out Metamai the Ageless to get infinite turns. Modern's got Gristlebrand and Emrakul the Eon, Eon's Torn. So you've got bigger, nastier things that you can Ilharg out. But this is sort of a Breach Vengeance Ilharg combo deck. I'm almost surprised to not see the new Perforos in here. But then I guess that only does red or artifact creatures, so maybe that's not as good. But yeah, this is this is a uh, let me see if I can cheat stuff in cheat really big stuff in really quickly. Massacre Worm in the side, I like it. Uh, so yeah, Rinko with a fun deck there. Uh, that would be a very high pucker factor playing against that deck. Melon 9 with another uh, Gruel, not quite Ponza deck. This one just has three uh, land destruction cards. So this is more on the Gruel Zoo side of things versus the Gruel Ponza side of things, but on that scale. Oxy with Moxie. Uh, very similar deck here. Uh, in fact, quite similar. A little more streamlined threat base. We only have seven different creatures instead of, what, not eight, nine. Four pillage, but the same general idea. This one's running main deck Blood Moon, where the last deck was running uh, Magus of the Moon. So, same idea. Slightly different threat package and... Uh, profile but uh yeah right uh, right down the line of that uh gruel zoo to ponza scale gershi with breach rug breach interesting so control deck trying to throw the breach out and cool to win yeah sure if that's what floats your boat that's two breach decks now we've seen in the last four. Ramanap is not playing red. Playing Infect instead. But uh, yeah, Infect always around. Any. Let's see, Blossoming Defense become immense. Veil of Summer on the side. Mystical Dispute. Yeah. Relatively straightforward Infect. Taylor 91 with Neobrand. Another cheat stuff out deck. Seems to show up in every uh, league dump. Cherry X-Man with 
This is a blue-white tempo deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess we are technically Jeskai. So this is a Jeskai tempo deck. What do we have red for? Bolt and Helix. Okay. So sort of Jeskai control, but a little more on the tempo side with the Brineborg Cutthroats and the Spell Quellers and the Clicks. Um, yeah, interesting build there. Bant is love, playing Niv-Mizzet. It's a little more than Bant, but Bant is love. We've got Uros. So this is the control -y build with seven creatures and six Planeswalkers. Uh, two Kaya's Guile, three Helix, no wishes... Ah, uh, one wish, sorry. So you've got your wish package in the board. Wheel of Sun and Moon in the side. Underplayed card, I think. Something to be said for that card. KRXN, Croxen, something with Death Shadow. Is this the four-color Death Shadow? We are black, we are red, we are green. Are we blue? We are not blue. So this is Jund Shadow. This is a non-traverse version. So, yeah, this is a little more... A little more aggressive, I think, with the uh, Teamer Battle Rages and the Crash Throughs. Yeah, but there's another Jun Shadow build for you. Dara Buckley with red, uh, blue red control. Thing in the Ices and Rowl as the Wind Cons. A Blood Moon main and just a lot of control stuff. Another control flavor for you. Brainstorm 39 with Bant Snow Control. So, as, as we mentioned in last week's uh, primary or preliminaries video, Bant Snowblade split off into two decks, and the control version of it took out the Stoneblade package, and this is what it looks like. Eurper with the Yagmoth combo deck, Golgari Yagmoth. Uh, good to see that this can hang around without Once Upon a Time, but it's not oppressive. So uh, if you like recurring your creatures out of the graveyard, this is something to look at. Orm 67 with Agorio's Vengeance. This is Grishol brand with the Nourishing Shoals. This is the more traditional burn uh, build here. World Spine Worms for the life gain off Nourishing Shoal. So that you can keep activating Grishol brand. But yeah, that's there, there's your Grishol brand. Quatra with a black-red Croxa Pyromancer deck. We are not white. We are black-red. This is the Unearth. Black-red Unearth, I guess, is what they're calling this archetype. Kind of an unimaginative name. But yeah, uh, Rotting Regisaur is a card. Especially if you can discard the Croxa and then escape the Croxa. That's a good thing. Cone with uh, Reclamation. Of course, our Nexus. This one is Sultai. So Sultai Reclamation, Mystical Teachings. There's your uh, kind of spell combo-ish deck here with Mystical Teachings. Grindy deck. Very grindy deck. Phyrexian 28 with... Uh, what colors are we here? We are green-white... Elspeth Knight Errant, Ancient Stirring. This is an interesting build. So it's a green white stone blade deck. With green white Eldrazi. Okay, green white Eldrazi. I remember that from a few months ago. Uh, Allie Warfield. I want to say, made this a little popular. Have not seen this in a while, so it's good to see that coming back. Mean Fanny Pack with another green-white deck here. A little more on the stone blady side. This one is not Eldrazi. This one is just green-white. I hate bears? Sorta? Yeah. Green-white and taxes. Or green white hate bears. Mean fanny pack. Nice little uh 
weenie build there. Like it. DM4X with another Bant Snow Control deck. Slightly different package of stuff. So uh, another take. If you if you like your Bant Control decks, here's another take, another build to look at. Big Mike 1374 with a Jund deck. For Liliana, for Tarmogoyf, six hand disruption spells plus two Croxa. This is what Jund is looking like if you don't want to play Dark Confidant. Corrado with a Bant Dance of the Mance deck. Nope, this is Teamer. Teamer Dance of the Mance with Emery and Breach. So Teamer Breach. This is the Grinding Station Breach deck. Okay. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm not very familiar with this deck. It's a new thing. It was touted as being the best deck in Modern. It has not shown the results to justify that statement, but it's a combo deck that's out there, so uh, be watching for it. Sly Daniel, 7787, with, uh, this is Eldrazi Tron, three All is Dust main, it's a little high, but uh, yeah, Eldrazi Tron, there you go, one of the higher, higher tier decks in the format. And Ocelot 823 with an interesting control deck. Four Snapcasters. So this is kind of a teamer, teamer control almost? I mean, it does have Tarmogoyf and Uro. So it's more like a teamer mid. I don't know if I'd call it a full control deck. It's definitely on the control -y side, though, with Spellsners and Mana Leaks. So uh, if you want on the controlling side of mid-range, take a look at the Ocelot's build here. It's a decent one. Mr. Rabe. Coco. Are we Obzon or are we green-white? We are green-white Coco. Knight of the Reliquary. And Ramanop Excavator. Flagstones. Valakut. Green-white Valakut? Interesting. Using the Dryad to turn everything into mountains to make Valakut good. Very interesting build. If you're into Valakut stuff, you might take a look at that. That might be an interesting tweak on what you've normally done. Rudolf, 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 Rudolf. I'm not going to bother. That's a tough one. Uh, Titan Shift with two Dryads. That's a little low. One Courser main. 29 lands. Three Summoners packed. Yeah, here's a Titan Shift build for you. United Games Co. with Elementals. Good old five-color Elementals. Three Unsettled Mariners as your honorary Elemental. 12, 14 Rainbow Lands out of 20. And your Aether Vials. Wanted, I couldn't make this deck work. I would love to give it another try at some point. Romarin with as foretold. This is is this the this is blue red free spells? Electro balance? I guess electro balance is what they're calling this deck. Greater Gargadons to sacrifice your stuff to make your restore balances better. As foretold to cast stuff for free. And uh, yeah, there you go. Electro balance. Hiraru with another prime primeval titan deck. This one is, I guess, called Titan Field. Um, we've got four Valakuts. There's no Scape Shifts. So it's not Titan Shift. So this must be the Titan Field deck. They're all kind of tweaks on each other. Four Wargates. I keep saying, hearing people say this is too cute, but it keeps hanging around in the build. So I don't know. Maybe it's good. Lin M with uh, the Mono Red Blitz deck. Get him dead fast or go on to the next match. One of the two is going to happen. It's not going to take you long to get through a league, that's for sure. Death and Cat Mix 
saw this handle last league or the league before. Congrats on getting another 5-0 here. I love your handle. This is a Stoneforge deck. So this is Mono White Stone Blade. Hanged Executioner. Mono White Death and Taxes. Mono White Blades and Taxes. Mono White Stone Blade. However you want to call it. Brack Attack with Hollow One. Good old fun Hollow One. Three Oxes, four Storm Heralds. Oh, this is the Herald, right. This is what Hollow One's doing now. The Storm Herald Eldrazi Conscription deck. Be curious to see what um, MTG Goldfish calls this deck. I would call it Hollow One, but I might Herald Aura or something. Something with Storm Herald in it. Both of those cards play into each other. So, Peter Kikak. Kikach. Kikach might be how that's pronounced. With Bant Snowblade. Uh, this is the deck that was that's still kind of all around modern right now. Um, this is this is the version with the Stoneblade package in it. We saw earlier the Bant Snow Control version without it. So if you want the Stoneblade package, here's a build for you. False Muffin with another primetime deck. This one is with Karn and it's Amulet, so it's Amulet Titan. So 29 lands. Ancient Stirrings now that Once Upon a Time is gone. But yeah, here's Amulet Titan with your Karn Wish Package. Liquid Metal Coating, Crucible, Walking Ballista, all that fun stuff. Alax 95 with Humans. And let's see what Humans is doing these days. Two Kessig Mal Malcontents. Four Phantasmal Images. That had dropped recently. Yeah, this is kind of a traditional build. Nothing really new in it. No, um, what's his name? Ch uh, Charming Prince that we've been seeing in some recent builds. But, yeah, there's humans for you. Master Horus with uh, the other Electro Dominance deck. This is, a, yeah, this is the As Foretold cycling deck. Interesting build. I can never make decks like this work for one reason or another. Living End. So I guess this is a Living End deck. Yeah. Didn't recognize it. I was not I was a little surprised to see the Electro Dominance in it. I guess I haven't really paid attention to Living End builds recently. More so with a 5-0 with Spirits. We are in blue-white in this deck. This is not banned. So this is a little little controly here. A couple mana leaks, a couple spell pierces, and of course you've got your uh, selfless uh, your uh, spell quellers. But yeah, blue white spirits, good old fun. Hashtag spirit squad. They oast they oast with the most. The yost with the most. What does he have the most of? He has the most metallic rebukes. I think I've seen in this dump. So this is an Urza deck. This is Uroza. Uro and Urza. The kind of latest thing to hit modern, I think, is this combination of Uro and Urza. BMJ with the Planeswalker deck we saw, we've been seeing recently. 21 walkers, 10 creatures, and all the creatures are there to get you mana to get more walkers out. Oath of Nyssa to find walkers or lands, and Utopia Sprawl to also help ramp. This is a walkers deck. I I keep saying it, but I am half surprised that there isn't a doubling season in this deck. It would be interesting to just play it as a fun of and see what happens. But, yeah. So here's, here's a, uh, a walkers deck for you. Magic Papa with Dredge. Or is this Crabvine? This is Crabvine. Looked like Dredge at first. Yep, Crabvine. Uh, another take on Dredge without really dredging. Just getting free stuff out of your graveyard. It's it's a lifestyle. Foreign Magra with... So, 
this is their Niv-Mizzet uh, Sahili combo deck that they've had consistent success success with. It's a different take on on Niv-Mizzet, um, where instead of trying to be a control deck, it's basically trying to do what the Jeskai Sahili decks do, only with a couple more colors and Niv-Mizzet as an additional win con with a 6-6 flyer. So it's using the Bring to Light Niv-Mizzet package here to do what's necessary to get your combo out. This one is less controlly than most builds I've seen. This is pretty focused on the Sahili combo here. There's only one instant main deck and no wishes. So yeah, this is really trying to uh, to combo you out here. To ferry to, to stop interaction on the turn you try to win. But yeah, congrats on the 5-0. I'm sure you'll be talking about this in the Discord. I haven't been in there in a couple of days to see what's been going on. West ATX with Tron. This is our good old traditional Tron. Three Congregate Creators. And only three Sylvan Scrying. Two Thrag Tusk Main. Two Walking Ballista. Ballista three Worm Coils on World Breaker. Uh, yeah, Green Tron, always, always around, pillar of the format. Doshack with a primetime deck. What are we on here? This is another, yeah, this is another version of Titan Field. There's only two Valakuts in this deck. The last one we saw had four, so this is probably more of a Titan Field build, build than what we saw before. Uh, three Karns. So yet another slight tweak on the uh, primetime Valakut Field of the Dead packages. Chilling Lodge with Dredge. Yes. This one is Dredge. It's not a Crab Vine. And so here's yet another way to get all that cool stuff out of into and out of your graveyard. Being dead is just kind of a temporary thing for these guys. Mutrol with Crabvine. So we've got two Crabvines and a Dredge deck. This this build, or this dump. Anything? Four Seder Wayfinders. That's a little interesting. Drown in Filth. Interesting. A little removal there. I haven't seen too, too often. Unearth. This is a, definitely a little different tweak on a dredge deck here. This is probably more of a Vengevine deck than a dredge deck. It does have uh yeah, this this is or a crab vine. Different different crab vine deck, definitely. Sorry, I was speaking dredge there because we just got done talking about dredge. But yeah, a couple a couple of crab vine builds today. Test on with Wurza. This is Jeskai Wurza. Just started seeing this build show up last week, I think. Be interesting to see if that was the same player having a little success here or somebody else has picked up the deck. But yeah, different take on, on Urza. Sebastian Stukel with Kiki Cord. This one's got Eldritch Evolutions in it. And 31 creatures. And that's what your typical Kiki Cord deck looks like. Also, a Vanifar deck. So there's a... a quote-unquote pod chain in here somewhere that I don't feel like figuring out right now, but when Bounding Crisis is involved, you know there's shenanigans afoot. The Mad Dollmaker is back again with Eldrazi and Taxes. And, yeah, two Charming Prince, the Displacer, bouncing stuff all around, Thought Not Seers, Reality Smashers. So, yep. This one is Mono White. Uh, I guess there is a little bit of black in it. Black cards main. No, this is mono white. Silent clearing is they're just there for the sack card draw. John H with Jeskai Sahili. This is the more traditional Sahili deck compared to the Niv Mizzet build we saw a few minutes ago. But you can see, yeah, this one is you know, twelve instants and whatnot. It's got the uh, Narset 
Teferi's Puzzle Box combo to shut off your opponent's ability to do anything. And uh, Pyromancer for threats if you can't get the Sahili combo in place. But yeah, just guy Sahili. PP8 with uh, Devoted Druid. This one does not have Heliod, so this is the more traditional Druid deck. The a little more all-in on the combo here with the post modern Lunges. Finale of Devastations, Court of Calling, Eladomri's Call. Uh, no Cocos in the deck, which is a little interesting. Kind of doing the uh, post mortem Lunge Devastation instead. Tutoring instead of spinning the wheel. And Novice with our last deck of the dump. And it is a blue-white control deck. An oust to Supreme Verdict. Only five creatures. A handful of planeswalkers. And a bunch of control elements. There is a blue-white control deck for you in its purest form. And, yeah, that's it for today's dump. Some good stuff, some old favorites. Have not seen Martyr Proc in a day and a half, to be sure. If you like what I'm doing here, thank, uh, do please like, subscribe. Thanks a ton for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. And it is Tuesday, so that means tomorrow is Wednesday, and that means it is another weekly look at the metagame. There's been a lot of other stuff going on on Magic Online with the Magic Fest at home and uh, various other tournaments. So there hasn't been as much participation in the preliminaries as usual, but we'll check out the numbers and uh, see where things are going. And that's it. Thanks for hanging out, and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.